Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 450 Rancher Chainsaw. The customer complaint is that he's having a hard time starting it. Uh, you got to look for clues on some of these repairs and it's not always what you think it might be uh, when you initially hear the customer complaint. Uh, it won't start, usually we're thinking fuel related issue. So we looked in the fuel tank first, right? Everything looked pretty normal in there. Second thing we always do is take a look at the condition of the piston and cylinder. If it's scored, I mean, there's no reason in moving forward with the repair, right? In this case, what do we see in the cylinder besides the piston? It's clean, looks good. Um, but, when we pull on the cord, a big clue pops up. The chain is turning. Now, if you have a situation where the chain's turning while you're trying to start the saw, it's going to be a lot harder to start that saw. You have to pull over the, the whole weight of the chain while you're cranking the engine. A lot of times you won't get enough speed to actually get it started. So our investigation is going to lead us behind the clutch cover and there we're going to look a little closer at what the problem might actually be here. So while he's doing that, uh, let me tell you about a little venture I was getting into. I was trying to start a, a professional hide and seek team. Uh, it, it didn't work out though. Um, good players are hard to find. Speaking of good players being hard to find, we got a couple co-workers that uh, they're always getting sick during the work week, but you see them out playing at the end of the week. Uh, I think they have a weakened immune system. <laughs> a weakened immune system. Here, heard it here first. All right, we got the chain and the bar off. We can't get that uh, clutch drum off of there, though. This is going to require the help of uh, a puller. It's not too often that I need a puller to get a clutch drum off, but uh, it is what it is. If a pig loses his voice, does he become disgruntled? Look at that. So the clutch comes right off of there, or the drum comes right off of there with the puller. Now this plastic, well look at the wear on that thing. Holy moly. That's what happens when you're uh, oiler system isn't working right. You can tell by the bar that this thing's been starved of oil quite often. Now this plastic piece here, the worm, that was kind of bound onto the crankshaft. Probably from heat. And when you pull the cord, the crankshaft should just spin inside that plastic worm. But if it's dragging that worm, then that worm is dragging the clutch drum. And the clutch drum is turning the chain. And that's where you have that problem. Chainsaw pearls. Pearls. I'm rich. Look at all of them in there. Holy moly. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with all these stupid pearls. Let's get on with the repair, eh? We'll just clean things up here a little bit. While he's doing that, let me ask you. How do you stop a bull from charging? You cancel its credit card. Alright. Clutch. 
here's our parts list and there's our new parts looks like the oil pumps in decent shape just gonna clean some debris off the end of the crankshaft what do you call a sleeping bowl that's right a bulldozer okay we're putting our new shiny new plate on here one screw holds that in place and then we're gonna find our grease tube it's kind of a mess on the bench right now but I know there's a grease tube on there somewhere let's go Find that grease tube. There it is. All right, now what you want to do is you want to grease that worm gear a little bit. Get some grease on the end of the crankshaft. But this worm gear doesn't fit very good. Because it was the first one. We need the new worm gear for this repair. We'll grease that. And it's going to spin on that crankshaft a lot better. Yeah, that's nice. And finally, our clutch drum comes with a new bearing. We'll grease that bearing as well. If two vegans get in an argument, is it still called a beef? if he had the wrong chain on there at one point if that contributed to the problem uh, I don't think so but all right I'm gonna hold the starter rope out a little bit before I give an ugga dug on that clutch because if you don't when the when the clutch rattles down uh, it's gonna pull on that rope and you don't want to stress the parts of the starter in there and the rope so uh, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies! Alright, that's all I got for you on the Husqvarna 450 Rancher uh, clutch drum swap. Thanks for watching. Later.